everyone is listening, I'm going to make a review of uh, uh, one vlogging uh, 4K camera that comes with microphone and uh, other accessories, in particular is this one over here. But the thing is, when people hear about 4K, they think that the image quality and the video quality are amazing, but in fact it's not true. Because 4K represents the size of the video, and uh, just to show you the difference, I'm going to shoot now a part of this video on my regular camera, which is 1080p. As you can probably see, the video quality using uh, my camera is significantly better compared to this uh, 4K, even though my camera is uh, only recording 1080p max, which is significantly less uh, in video size than uh, this one. But the purpose of this video is to show you uh, how this camera performs, so uh, make sure you stick till the end and I will show you videos and pictures taken with this uh, camera and also I will share my honest uh, opinion as a photographer. And this is what we get in the box, uh, there is a user manual. Here there is another user manual for the microphone and here we have the bracket, there is the charger for the battery, there is a um, HDMI to micro HDMI, this one is to connect it uh, with the TV, here is the cable to uh, attach the microphone, here we have one battery, the second battery, here is the charging cable, here we have the microphone. Here there is the remote control, here is the lens shade, which is basically from three pieces, and here is the main piece, which is the camcorder, which is quite small, and also, as I can see, it is also quite lightweight. And now I'm going to show you how to set this up. So here's the camera, as we can see on this side there is the sign 4K, 48 megapixels and those specifications and uh, here there is a sensor for the remote control and if we open this one we can see the screen which goes like this you can rotate it basically 360 degrees it doesn't go more than this side but you can also keep it like this but if you, if you keep it in this position and you just press it a bit it's gonna close here on the side, uh, inside we have uh, the menu, power button, uh, OK up and the uh, menu Wi-Fi. And uh, here we have the USB and the mic. And uh, we have to open this slot. And uh, then we can see the HD. And using the cable provider, we can connect it to the TV. Uh, here is the mic. And uh, here is the USB, just in case uh, we want to use it while uh, uh, is charged and to close this uh, small lid basically what we have to do is carefully do it with your finger because it's sliding down and it's sliding up all right and uh, now I'm going to close this on here on top there is the slot for the microphone and we have to open uh, this one to keep in mind to keep this one somewhere safe here is the zoom plus and minus uh, here is the photo option and the mode. We will go through these ones. Here at the back, uh, there is the uh, busy if uh, the camera is working and uh, charging. And here is the battery slot. And uh, here we have the standby stop. And we basically, this one we press uh, to record. And the first thing that we have to do is to attach the battery. We get two batteries and uh, my uh, suggestion is to keep uh, one all the time charged with you. Okay. In order to attach the battery, uh, basically you cannot just slide it as it is. There is a button here on the bottom and you have to uh, slide it and then the battery is inserted. Uh, I forgot to mention uh, here uh, at the back uh, there is the screw uh, so you can use this one to mount it on a tripod and here is the memory card slot which can be opened like this and uh, it works with a uh, regular SD card not micro SD or so you can use a micro SD with an adapter and then uh, the next step is uh, to attach the lens shade obviously here is the lens and we get these three pieces and in order to do so we have to do the following we have to screw this one
All right, done. Then if we want to use the big hood, need to make sure you match these ones properly. All right, done. And this one, they has a thread over here, which basically goes here in front. And obviously you can adjust the position to get the right uh, configuration. So it has to look something like this. Now we have the battery, we have to install the memory card. And uh, now I'm going to show you how to install the microphone. Basically this one goes here on top. But before that you need to unscrew this. Yeah, and then lock it. Then we get a cable and the cable goes here on this side and it needs to be attached. That's really strange and I don't understand these things about the camera. It has to go over here, which is quite unpleasant because sometimes you want to use the microphone uh, and the camera with the uh, monitor closed, but you cannot do it at the same time. Yeah, and uh, the microphone has to go in this jack over here. And done. Mind that the microphone has to be charged. It has an internal battery. Now there's one more thing that we need, we need to set up is the bracket, which is over here. And it has this screw at the very bottom. Basically it's folded like this. This is how it comes in the pack. And you have to open it. And you need to screw it from the bottom which will go in this hole over here. So you can move this wheel until it's matched. All right, so this is how the whole setup looks like. Before using this camera, there's one more thing that we have to do. Uh, I have here an SD card and basically here is the slot as I've said before and it has to go exactly like this. So with this part facing the battery. And you have to press till it makes a small click. That means that it's locked. You're gonna close this one. And uh, now I'm gonna switch it on and I'm going to show you how uh, this one uh, works. So basically here using the power button, I'm gonna press and you get this welcome message and we have to wait for this sound to get a confirmation that uh, is on. Uh, before this, there is uh, something else. In order to use the microphone, there is the microphone is set on off now and we have to put it on on and we get an indicator over here, a blue light that shows that the microphone is on. And uh, now, this is the message that we get. So I would say to pay attention to this uh, step because it's very important. If your uh, SD card has some pictures uh, on it, uh, I would suggest to back everything up because uh, the device is asking to format the card. And we're gonna use format. And uh, now it's ready to be used. This is how the camera looks like. And if I wanna use only one finger to hold it, as you can see, it's not really balanced. Basically, you have to hold it with one hand and just push it a bit. Just basically pull it uh, to keep it straight. It's extremely lightweight. And there is something that I, I just don't understand. Uh, because you can see the, the cable for the microphone. Yeah. So if I want to close the monitor, basically I cannot, which is something very strange. This other camera looks on the tripod. Basically all the tripods come with this plate and then you just have to screw it to the camera and uh, basically that's it. Now I would like to show you the weight of uh, the camera with everything mounted and it's uh, 574 grams which in my opinion is extremely extremely light. This is how the video looks outside, uh, it's uh, significantly better than I expected. These are the colors that you can pull, the camera is set on uh, full uh, auto. And this is how, this is the response rate, which is quite decent. We're recording at 4K uh, 30 frames per second. 
and uh, this is the stability when I walk. Quite responsive. Now the camera is set on uh, video mode, but if you, you would like to take picture, basically what you have to do is go here and press mode and this menu will pop and then you can select the picture and using this button photo, if you press it, this is going to happen and it's gonna make this sound of shutter, okay, and if you press this uh, uh, button over there, it's a bit difficult to do it because it's quite small, then you can uh, vi uh, watch the pictures and videos and then to go out we have to do the following just press there it's a bit difficult all right and uh, to change the resolution uh, of the video we have to go to mode you have to press normal recording and as you can see there is a menu over there and recording resolution and if you press on this one you have a 4k at 60 frames per second 4k at 30 frames per second and you have uh, 2.7k at uh, uh, 30 frames per second and as well if you we go here uh, we have different settings uh, related to the uh, camera uh, beeping we can connect it with the uh, wi-fi uh, and uh, as you can see guys time on time set uh, date and uh, so forth one other thing about the microphone there are some options over here and it's quite important to understand them so once this one is set on off obviously the mic is going to be off and if you put it if you go one step in the middle you have the normal recording and this sign over here means low cut so if you activate this one it means that the microphone will collect will record basically the sound um, like more narrow not so wide and uh, on the other side we have some options for example if you're in a busy environment you can choose uh, this minus uh, 10 decibels which will, re will reduce the, the sound, the volume, basically. And on zero is just regular. And on 20, if you record in a very uh, low environment and if you want to uh, amplify the sound, basically. There's one more thing that I would like to show you, which is very important, is the zoom function. So this is uh, the widest. And uh, now I'm going to zoom and zoom. And uh, now we are at 16x, this is uh, the maximum that we can get. After testing this camera, I cannot say it's not good because it has plenty of options. Uh, it also can take pictures and record long videos. In terms of uh, building quality, it's quite decent. It also comes with this mic and uh, the stabilizer. So do I recommend you to buy it or to drop it? Well, it all depends what you're looking for. Personally, because I work as a professional photographer, I would definitely get a phone because you have multiple options with the phone and also compared to the quality I think some phones in the same price range are better than this so probably somewhere in the middle not really sure but if you want to find out more details about this per camera in particular there is a link in the description also if you have, a, if you have any questions about the product uh, you can leave them in the comment section below and I'll answer thank you for watching and see you next time